Optifine 1.21.4 just came out and we're going to show you how to download and install it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Optifine that goes over everything including troubleshooting issues you may have along the way. We're going to be covering a lot of that in this video, but if you do run into an issue, check here on the website because, well, we've got some covered for you. Nevertheless, in order to download Optifine, click on the download Optifine button here to go to Optifine's official download page. On this page, we can see Minecraft 1.21.4 here, but because it just came out today, it's still in a beta or a preview version. So we have to click preview versions here. If you don't have preview versions and you just have a version listed, that's a good thing because that means it's not in beta anymore. It's official, it's out, and you don't have to worry about as many bugs or things like that. But we can go ahead and click preview versions, and then we can see under Minecraft 1.21.4, we have a bunch of different versions here. Always go with the one at the top, the one that was released most recently which in our case was the 4th of December 2024. Click mirror next to the version that you want to download and it will take you to that version specific download page. On this page, go ahead and click on the download button and after a few seconds, the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, which is what we're doing here. While Optifine's downloading, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way should you run into any issues with your server. So you add some mods, things break, expert live chat support there to help you in those situations. So check it out. First link in the description down below. The breakdown at XYZ slash SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move Optifine to our desktop. So if we go to our desktop and go to downloads and here is the Optifine file we downloaded. Now, for you, it's going to be wherever file normally download to. Most likely that's your downloads folder, but we can drag and drop this to our desktop just because things are easier to do from there. Go ahead and right click on the Optifine file you downloaded, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? Or what if you do have Java and when you click OK it doesn't work? Well, that's because you need to get Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft 1.21 mods, including Optifine. So that means go get Java 21, download it, and install it. Of course, we've got links in the description down below to our in-depth guide on getting Java 21. We also have a link to the jar fix. The jar fix is going to take all the jar files on your computer, link them back to Java, and make them work happily together. But first, download and install Java 21, then run the jar fix, and then you'll be able to open up Optifine without any issues whatsoever. Just go ahead, right-click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Your Optifine installer will now open. At this point, you want to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed, and if they are, go ahead and click Install. The only reason this would fail and not come up and say Optifine is successfully installed is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. That can be pretty common because a lot of people can't really even play Minecraft without Optifine, but you just need to open it to the main menu. So go play Minecraft 1.21.4, opening it up to the main menu, closing out of it, and then come back and install Optifine. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click OK because Optifine is successfully installed and you can delete this Optifine file from your desktop. Now what do we do? Well, we just need to play Minecraft using Optifine. In order to do that, you want to open the Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher, all we're going to need to do is go to installations at the top. So once we go to installations, we'll be able to see there is an Optifine installation. If for whatever reason you don't have an Optifine installation, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, if modded's not checked, Optifine's not there. But if you check modded, there it is, there's Optifine. You can click play and click play again. But if you still don't have Optifine or you don't have 1.21.0, for Optifine, what do we do? Well, click new installation here. You can name this anything you want. I'm gonna name it simplegamehosting.com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. Then go ahead and click the version drop-down box here and select release 1.21.4-Optifine. Right here it is. When you click on that, we can go ahead and set our resolution as well if you want. Click create in the bottom right. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.21.4-Optifine under it. Go ahead and click play on that, click play again, and now Minecraft's gonna open up with Optifine installed and running. It's that easy to get things basically going with Optifine. Now while Minecraft's opening, I do want to mention that a lot of times Optifine doesn't provide the best performance you can get. There are other mods you can install that can make that happen and actually provide higher FPS than Optifine. And we actually have a mod pack called Notifine that takes all those mods, Sodium and a lot of extensions of Sodium and Modern Fix and all the amazing mods that increase performance and adds them all in one mod pack for you to play. It's gotten over 150,000 downloads. It's always kept up to date on the newest versions of Minecraft and on top of that, it's super 
easy to install. This is linked in the description down below. And a lot of times, like I said, it will provide better performance than Optifine. But with that being said, here we are in Minecraft. We can go to options and video settings. And we have, of course, shaders, for example, which is a basically key that Optifine is installed. We can also go to different things in video settings like our details and our animations and all of the stuff that makes Optifine Optifine. So with that being said, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But you know how to get Optifine in Minecraft 1.21.4. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.